when 2x cubed plus mx squared plus nx minus 6 is divided by x minus 2, the remainder is 20. The same polynomial has a factor of x plus 2. Determine the values of m and n. Let's rewrite the information from the question. Since x plus 2 is a factor of the polynomial, the remainder is 0. When the polynomial is divided by x minus 2, the remainder is 20. Using the remainder theorem, we have p at 2 equals 20. When the polynomial is divided by x plus 2, the remainder is 0. Using the remainder theorem, we have p at negative 2 equals 0. Let's outline the steps required to solve this. First use p at 2 equals 20 to create a two-variable equation. Next, use p at negative 2 equals 0 to create a second two-variable equation. Finally, use substitution or elimination to solve for each unknown. Let's begin with p at 2 equals 20. Plug in 2 for x. Evaluate the powers and multiply. On the left side, 16 minus 6 equals 10. Subtract 10 from both sides to get 4m plus 2n equals 10. The equation can be reduced by dividing both sides by 2. This gives us 2m plus n equals 5. Now we'll move on to p at negative 2 equals 0. Plug in negative 2 for x. Evaluate the powers and multiply. On the left side, negative 16 minus 6 equals negative 22. Add 22 to both sides to get 4m minus 2n equals 22. The equation can be reduced by dividing both sides by 2. This gives us 2m minus n equals 11. Eliminate one of the unknowns. If we add, we can eliminate n and solve for m. Add the two equations to get 4m equals 16. Divide both sides by 4 to isolate m. This gives us m equals 4. Now plug m equals 4 into either equation to get the value of n. In this example, we'll use 2m plus n equals 5. Plug in 4 for m. This gives us 8 plus n equals 5. Subtract 8 from both sides of the equation to get n equals negative 3. We have now solved the problem, m equals 4 and n equals negative 3.